Hello, everyone. Welcome. We are Ace Run Productions. I am Felix. And I am Conrad. And we are at the International Disc Golf Center for the Steady Ed Disc Golf Hall of Fame Classic presented by Rectech Grills. We've got the legends out here today. We are doing the MP70, and this is a card of four Hall of Famers playing the Steady Ed course today here in beautiful Abilene, Georgia. It is a privilege to actually be here and be able to uh, witness and just get a little insight of the players that we have here. PJ number three, Dan Stork. We have Jim coming in at PJ, PDGA number 23. Captain Snap, Michael Conger, and Dr. I Rick. I can't tell Dr. you Rick. how honored I am to call out your names and how much it means to, to us to have you here. So thank you all for being here. We really appreciate all you've done for the sport and uh, what you've done to kind of pave the way for the rest of us. Thank you all. Yeah, and thank you for yeah. all the building of the sport to make it the way we have it. Completely we have our play. pleasure. As you know, it's a labor of love. Teeing off first in the 12-10 tee time in the MP70 division. PDGA number three, Dan Stork Roddick. You heard him right. PDGA number three. Dan Stork is a legend. Uh, he is responsible for some of the rules that you see in the modern game today. Pipes went up the middle. So we're going to do something a little different on this round. There's going to be some commentary, but we're going to kind of let these guys tell the story. There'll be some uh, chatting in between with these card mates and we just want you guys to kind of listen in on some of the stories they have to tell as well. Great shot Next there by Jim. Michael Captain Snap Conger, PDGA number 60. <laughs> and rounding out our 12-10 grouping in the MP70 division, Dr. Rick Vokes. Dr. Rick's got about 700 world titles, U.S. titles, Tim Selesky Masters. If you look up his resume, he's got titles dating back to 1985. Which isn't possible because he's only like 30. Yeah. I don't know how he's on this card because he looks younger than I do. Great shot there by Dr. Rick. No surprise. Roller out. See what the lefty's got in store here. Mm. Nice shot. Good up. Dr. Rick for his bird. Count it. <laughs> Always great to have a sense of humor there. Well, one hole they don't have to worry about. There you go. <laughs> so there you see Dan Stork, Roddick, even Jim with a birdie, Dr. Rick with a birdie. It's that with the bogey. Jim going on the turnover line here. This is hole two, it is a par four, 255. They're playing from the short positions. So they're actually playing from the red tees. Mm. I stepped in a hole I didn't realize oh, yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> It's a pretty good lefty hole here. And Stork capitalizes on the fact that it's a good lefty tee shot. Up the gut there. That's a good shot there. Mm. That's the tough thing about that fairway. Is once you once you get off the fairway into the left there, it kind of closes in on you. That's a good recovery shot though. He's going to have a good look for to save the par. See what Jim does here. 
gave everything he had. That's a good shot. You got it there. Jay. Basket's over here somewhere. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Stork going roller. Uphill. Did never uh, quite stood up. No. And Captain Snap. Uh, it's hard to film him. He just gets <laughs> up and just throws. Captain Ready Snap. Yeah. Mm. A little low there for Jim. Stork here with a look for Birdie. Oh, oh. oh. sit, sit. Yeah, Good bid. And this is for par here for Dr. Rick. Probably circles edge. Mm. Oh. Right on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Snap saying he's an animal. Well, you don't get all those world titles without being able to putt lights out. So Stork again going even, Palmieri even on that hole. Snap taking the, uh, the lone birdie. You have to imagine with PGA numbers that low that they're just, they've had countless rounds together over the years. And so their camaraderie is just, it's very unique. Absolutely. That was a great shot there by Captain Snap. Hole three, par three, 186 feet. A little bit of downhill. Ooh. Jim finds one of the many trees out there to find. Dr. Rick going with the hyzer line that needs to miss that last set of trees, and it does. Oh, he hits, hits the, the pole. short position. Wow. <laughs> this is a, a tough lefty hole here. Let's see. Can I go back up there? This hole is actually sponsored by Dan Stork Roddick. <laughs> Yeah. Now remember, the short tee proposal included that you have the option to play the long tee if you want. <laughs> you really want to drive the rating people yeah. crazy. You can throw your first shot to the long tee and then throw from there. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> Another forehand here for Stork. This one works out really well. Oh yeah. Jim's just got all kinds of movement when he throws. He's, he's fun to watch. I thought I, I was concerned about his footing on a couple of these throws here. Yeah. It just looks like he's slow dancing with somebody <laughs> who's just not there. Uh, but he's having a lot of fun out there. Nice recovery there by Stork. Dr. Rick has this for a two. And that's going to put him two down through three. So a couple of pars and a couple of birdies there. Dr. Rick getting off to the hot start. On the night before we were supposed to leave for the Worlds. So, so I said, you got half an hour and then we got to hit the set. So in half an hour, I found an old phone line, hooked it up to the phone line, got so signed have up. a modem in it or what? Signed up for AOL. <laughs> yeah. First time, first time inter we ever had internet. Mm -hmm. um, and found my picture. My picture was on there from the, for the Hall of Fame. Uh -huh. And so uh, we get back from the Worlds a week later. It says, you've got mail. Oh, yeah. And it's from Laura Vokes. It's from Laura Vokes. And she says, my husband just got this gateway computer, the big cow box. And we signed up for AOL. And we found your picture on the internet. <laughs> she says, my husband's name is Rick Vokes. Oh, same spelling. I mean, same a cousin? Same spelling. Yeah. <laughs> so am I. Maybe we're long lost twins. And so, and she says, well, are you six foot three? 
<laughs> I said, well, maybe twins like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> we know that his grandparents are from Leamington, Ontario, Canada, and that's where my parents are from. So there was a linkage so up there. So there's a link there. Well, it like, turns out that uh, our great grandfather divorced and had a second and raised a second family, and so I'm from the first family, and he's from the second family, mm -hmm. vice versa. Mm -hmm. I can't check. Pretty crazy story there about the lineage there and the, the the guy being named Rick Vokes and spelled the exact same way that Rick Vokes spells his name. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that in and give you guys an idea of the kind of conversations they were having. So par four, or sorry, hole four is a par four. That's an early hit. Sit, sit. Plays at 303. It's slightly uphill also, so plays a little bit longer. This looks like a good line. Yeah, it wasn't coming right at me. Oh. Ooh. With not a great roll, but it's seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stork with the. Turnover backhand. That'll work. Jesus Christ. I just had no footing there. That's the tough thing with some of these holes. Your footing definitely becomes an issue. Another roller here from Stork. Going right mm -hmm. towards Conrad. <clears throat> Dr. Rick pumping one up the gut. Hits a root it's, there, but yeah. he's still within his range. Jim Deary goes dancing again after a shot. And that's going to work out. He's right by the tree. Nice. And Captain with a nice layup there. Mm. Just off to the side. Dr. Rick has this for, I believe, a birdie. Money again. Good putt there by Jim. Nice job there. So Captain Snap and Rick picking up the birdies on that one. So 05 is a par 4, it's coming in at 306. Normally the long position is up at the top of a hillside, kind of sloping down towards the water. These guys are playing it from essentially the drop zone, uh, which cuts about 200 feet off of the length of the hole. This looks like the ideal shot here by Dr. Rick, and that's going to be in position to give him a look for the two. Big skip. Yeah. I was there last year. It's not good. You remember? Oh, yes. I remember very well. It was so bad. Stork or roller again. A lot of roots and twigs in the way, but that worked out pretty well. He's just going to be a little pinched on his second shot there. <laughs> Just like last year. <laughs> Roller again here for Stork. And this is fading towards the water. Luckily the branches kind of slow it down. Great drive by Captain Snap here and he's got a nice just right up shot. <laughs> Beautiful. Dr. Rick giving it a bid. I'm trying to save this four here if he can get up and down. Very nice shot. Mm. Whoa, Stork giving it a run with a. I was going to say a 40 mold, but that's his Zephyr, which he <laughs> is now throwing, which replaced his 40 molds. 
so I'll take my floor and be happy. Okay, three better than last year, right? So apparently Jim took a seven on this hole last year. As you can see how picturesque it is on this course. So again, Captain Snap and Rick with a couple of birdies. Mm. A little early deflection there. Still kind of worked out. There's a boat on the water, so if you hear some humming there, that's what that is. So par 3156 is hole six, and then Rick squares up one of the uh, late trees there on the fairway. Jim's got a little bit of the early release itis the last uh, last couple holes, and that's peered up the middle there by Stork. He'll have a nice look for the birdie. Oh, that's a nice up. Somebody bank his head on that one. Jumper. Oh yeah, he was going for that one for sure. Dr. Rick wanted it. As you can see right now, it's kind of a, a two-horse race between Conger, who wraps up another two there, and Dr. Rick, and that's going to tie uh, Dr. Rick and Captain Snap at the top there at four under. Jim continues to find a way to get par. Dan with a nice uh, birdie himself there. So hole 7 is a par 4, 339. You want to hit that initial gap and finish out to the right as much as you can. And that one came in and cut and rolled over to the woods. Again, this is a pretty good lefty hole to start off the tee here. Let's see if Stork can capitalize. That's way too straight. <laughs> he said he finally got a hold of one, and he did, but way too straight. Let's see what Dr. Rick can do with this one. Oh, he's going. Oh, he split the trees. Up the tight right side. That is dangerous and rewarding. And perfect. Why not you? Why not me? Why not? All right. After all, if Rick Polk can do it, why can't I? <laughs> oh, we don't have time, Jim. <laughs> 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 you gotta love the good nature gripping. <laughs> and that's why if <laughs> you don't try to do what Dr. Rick does. <laughs> that's a great recovery though there by uh by Jim. Dan's really pinched, yeah, and that's, it's tough to get out of there. Forehand roller here for Captain Snap. Uh, stayed out a little bit, didn't turn in. Let's see what Stork's got lined up here, another roller. That's, that's turning a little too much. Yeah, never really stood up, just stayed on a cut angle. And look at the position Dr. Rick is in off of his drive. He's got a nice putter up shot. That's in position for another birdie. Jim, very nice touch. There's that 40 mold again. I mean, that Zephyr. Yeah, that'll work out. Ooh, mm. Good run. Dr. Rick with another birdie. Good par there for Captain Snap. And Jim with a nice par as well, considering he hit the early tree on his drive. So a couple of birdies, a par, a bogey, that's usually what you see on that hole. 
holding to par 3 at 174 feet from the shorts. That's going to work out for him. Typically anywhere on the rocks is alright. That was a really kick to the left. Jim's got lined up here. That needs to stay on that line. Oh. Late tree. So as you can see, the traditional line is just up the gut there. Historic. It. They split those what? trees? <laughs> Let's see. Slow it down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he split them. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's that crafty veteran this long jumper. Ooh. Mm, good bit. Laying up there to the rocks and Dr. Rick. Another birdie. That'll put him six down to eight. Nice birdie there for Stork. Jim's just been consistently getting pars. He, he birdied hold one and it's just been a, a par stretch ever since. <laughs> Jim talking about tying for first last year at this event. And on to hole number nine. And that's about the ideal landing area. Okay, I'm just wondering what this is doing to your fragile ego to not be a heaven. <laughs> this should help. <laughs> Asking for it to stand up. Uh, just on the edge. That's not too much trouble. That looks like trouble, though. Mm, yeah. Jim fading out. But he's in that landing area. Oh, yeah, because then it's, it's a, a very gentle Anheuser to your death. You don't want to be to the right like I am. All right. <laughs> Cap snap. Finding a way through. Unless you can get out like that. Very good shot there. Jim with that gentle line hazard he's talking about. And that's a good position play there. Yep, it's in the middle of the fairway. Dr. Ricks is in pretty prime position here and he smokes this. Whoa. There's, I still want, I have like a been, birth certificate or something. I There's, haven't been that far yeah. in two shots on this hole. <laughs> ever. Here. Nice shot there by Stork. No, but no. you can't make a three? Well, I'm hoping to make a three. Well, I understand, but um, you don't get a beer. Okay. I'll take my There's beer. a bear on the line here. Because you can reach this. So get up, you can reach the green. Well, so see, that's, that's the flaw in the premise. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you can reach it. <laughs> That's about three, fifty. And the very best chat and lucky wind and stuff like like the uh, seventy six WFC where I hit one hundred and four meters on the distance with a forty mole. No. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> No beer for Jim. <laughs> Unless he throws it in. He, Stork said he just has to get up and down in two. So mm. Jim's still got a chance. That's a, a terrible kick there. but Let's see what Stork's got in mind here. Got it turned over towards that bush. Uh, hey, kind of burned out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if Jim can throw it in here and get that beer. No! No! Inches away from going to where I wanted to. 
Meanwhile, Dr. Rick just <laughs> carving up this hole with surgeon-like precision. <laughs> See what I did there? See that? Because he's a doctor. Very nice up there by Captain Snap. Let's dork with that Zephyr again. Man, I gotta get one of those. He makes it look so easy. <laughs> Jim trying to will it in. <laughs> He's trying to dance with it after it leaves his hand. <laughs> and the easy birdie there for Dr. Rick. So he's going to finish seven down through the first nine. Captain Snap not too far behind them. But Dr. Rick is starting to put a little distance between himself and the rest of the card. As you can see there, Dr. Rick seven down. Conger four down, even for Roddick and Stork. I'm sorry, Stork and Palmieri. So thanks for watching the front nine, guys. We are Ace Run Productions. Stay tuned for the back nine coming your way soon. More action from the Legends card here at the IDGC, the Steady Ed Disc Golf Classic. Thank you for watching. And let's get excited for some disc golf.